I've been in skates, I think, since I was like uh, two. For Scott Crowder, hockey has been a way of life. Uh, since I was really little, I was in locker rooms. I was in the, in the corner of ice rinks, maybe like after my dad's practices, playing with the snow. And a little winter weather won't stop him from realizing his vision. I mean, people are trucking through some serious snow if we don't move it. Well, with the snow, it's just been crippling, you know? Getting Lake Winnipesaukee ready for this weekend's pond hockey tournament is going to take some muscle. It looks pretty rough right now, but it'll, we'll get it in shape. It'll happen. The last batch of winter storms laid a thick layer of snow and ice over the 14 rinks that had been painstakingly carved. It's great, just like the community up here. It's a town of Meredith. Everyone helps out. Some would call this a Zamboni. <laughs> and to get all 14 ready by the end of the day, Scott needed a hand. Why wouldn't I help out? <laughs> That's what people do, you know? It's 10 times worse than it was last year. Last year was easy compared to this year. He was in dire straits. He gave us a call and we came down here as quick as possible. We're trying to pull out all the stops to make this happen. It's something that, that we, we want to do for, for a lot of people out there. Now in its second year. We've got all the signage over there. We'll have to start going through that. And a New England Pond Hockey Classic is a revival of sorts. You got the wind blowing in your face and you got, you got you got cracks and bumps in the ice, and uh, I mean, it's it's just it's what the what the sport is. Thousands of players from as far as Utah are descending on the small town of Meredith for a few days of youthful nostalgia. Well, my father is in the Legends Division. I think that's 50 and older. With so much riding on its success, where are you at? I'm almost halfway up the tire. The hits keep coming. Um, it's be, I got tire chains? Yeah, we're going to need them, probably. Uh, the truck is in probably four or five inches of slush, and he's just stuck. Oh. Is he ready? But Scott and his army bow to plow. Yeah! You did it! That's nice. Until the last flake of snow is in its proper place. Quite a bit of work to do. Quite a bit of work.